during my first recital in Warsaw in 1979, I met a great uh, musicologist, uh, piano musicologist. Uh, he passed away now, unfortunately, Mr. Stanislav Dybowski. And I remember playing the pastoral symphony, the number six of Beethoven arranged by Liszt. And then he came to see me at the end of the concert and he told me, I want you to visit me tomorrow morning. I have something important to show you. So I went to his place. There was an upright piano. He told me, sit down on the piano. And he put a score, a Soviet score, Hungarian Gypsy Airs, composed by Sophie Menter and Tchaikovsky. And he told me the story. He said, we know that Liszt, Franz Liszt, started writing a concerto in the Hungarian style. And it was a request of Sophie Menter, who was a great uh, uh, Bavarian pianist lady, very beautiful woman and very good pianist. And she asked Liszt to write this concerto in the Hungarian style at the end of his life. Uh, he was not writing any longer virtuoso music. So he started writing the piece, which was unfinished. And he recommended her to go to Tchaikovsky and ask him to orchestrate and finish the piece. So apparently she added some of her own because she was also a nice composer of salon music. She went to Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky apparently didn't know that Liszt started this uh, concerto. He finished it, he orchestrated, and guess what? I think in 1893, I think, or 92, I think 93, they played it, Sophie Mentor on the piano, and Tchaikovsky conducting, you know where? In Odessa. In Odessa. Very beautiful city, by the way. I remember three years ago, I played the opening concert of the classic music festival in Odessa at the opera. And then I improvised after my two concertos of Beethoven and Mozart on a famous song, Ukrainian song for the Ukrainian audience. And I think it's also on YouTube. Anyway, then I got very excited about the score. And I spoke about it to EMI and to a very good friend, Dennis Dubin, who passed away since, who lived in Philadelphia and who had also some good contacts with the Philadelphia Orchestra management. Then they talked about it to Maestro Ormandy, who was one of the five or six biggest names of the 20th century as far as conductors are concerned. Rachmaninoff himself, when he recorded his piano concertos, he did it with his, fa uh, f uh, his um, favorite orchestra, the Philadelphia Orchestra, half of them with Leopold Stokowski, who was the music director during 35 years uh, before Ormandy took over for uh, more than 40 years. Stokowski was the conductor with the Philadelphia Orchestra in the movie of uh, Walt Disney, Fantasia. You can see him at the beginning, the first Fantasia, not the second. And it was a, such a great honor for me to collaborate with uh, Maestro Eugene Ormandy. So they told me you have to meet him one day before the recording. Oh my God. At his home. He used to live uh, on the last floor with his wife of a, a hotel in uh, Philadelphia. Uh, same, I forgot the name now. It's on the same street like the Academy of Music, the concert hall. Okay, I ring. And I see a man, I thought he was tall, and I see a man not higher than me, not taller than me. And I was so impressed because I knew him through the, the photos and all that. Maestro, I have to admit I am very much intimidated to meet you. And he says, you know, he was very old, more than 80. Oh, my young friend, you know, you remind me when I was young conductor. You know, this is a Hungarian accent when I was young conductor. 
I was Minneapolis. I was supposed to conduct concert. They told me you pretty have to conduct concert with Rachmaninoff. He plays Rhapsody on a theme by Paganini, you know, his famous work for piano and orchestra. And Ormandy says, I was so intimidated. And during the concert, uh, something happened. Rachmaninoff changed what he was playing. And I thought, my God, I did something wrong. My God, what happened? So while I was conducting the orchestra, I turned, I turned to, to Rachmaninoff. And he was very angry. You know, he had a big face. He was very tall. And he looked, he looked at me. Play. Keep playing. And I thought, my God, I did something terrible because he was angry after me. So we went until the end of the piece, of the Rhapsody. And then I went to the artist room to, to see what happened, to talk to him. And then I felt so relieved when he told me, I was not angry after you. I was angry after myself because I had memory problem. And then I felt so, so good after that. It was so nice. I remember also Ormandy telling me about uh, the building across the street. He says, you know, I saw many times Leopold Stokowski and Greta Garbo flirting and kissing on the veranda, you know. And then, anyway, he asked me to play the three pieces. Mm. He looked at the scores. I was on his piano. And I played the three pieces we recorded. The Schubert Liszt van der Fantasy the least Hungarian fantasy, and the least Sophie Mentor Tchaikovsky, call it whatever you want, uh, concerto in the Hungarian style. And when I played this piece on his piano, there is a tune, typical Hungarian folkloric tune, and Ormandy told me, oh, you know, when I was eight years old, when I was in the streets of Budapest, I was singing this tune, you know, he was very happy. Anyway. We did the recording the next day for EMI, and I shall never forget, we started with the Schubert Liszt Van der Rehe Fantasy. The orchestra never played that piece before. We played it. Ormandy told them a few things, and then he says, okay, now we record. And the orchestra played perfectly. I mean, they needed only the piece lasts a little bit over 20 minutes. They needed 25 minutes, and right after that, it was perfect for them. Amazing. So one year later, we played two of these pieces, two of them, the Hungarian Fantasy and the Concerto in the Hungarian Style, in Philadelphia at the famous Mann Music Center. I even met Mr. Mann. Uh, who also donated uh, this uh, great hall uh, in Israel, the Man Music Auditorium, who, uh, whatever they call it. And uh, this concert was uh, videotaped, and you can see it on YouTube. There were between 10 and 12,000 people, audience. <laughs> 